I don't want a Battlefront 3 from DICE. Hear me out. Torches! Get your torches! Pitchforks! Can't be an angry mob without pitchforks! I love DICE. DICE is one of my favorite developers. I love Battlefront 2015, love Battlefront 2 2017, love Battlefield 1, love Battlefield 5. This is coming from a place of love. <laughs> I really, really like their games, but I don't think that this should make a Battlefront 3. I know, blasphemy. I still think Dennis should be involved because Dennis is a king. Hello there. My name is Dennis. I work at DICE in Stockholm on Star Wars Battlefront 2. But the game that I want Battlefront 3 to be is different from the game that DICE would make. The problem with Battlefront 2015, it wasn't big enough or it didn't serve a lot of the areas that people wanted to see from Star Wars game. The problem with Battlefront 2, in my opinion, is that it tried to do too much. So I think there's a middle ground. There is a place that we can all coexist and enjoy. DICE is currently working on Battlefield 6, and I think that should, they should continue to make only Battlefield games. While there are multiple different, there are multiple studios named DICE, there's DICE LA, there's DICE Stockholm, and I think there's a couple others, but I may be wrong. DICE Stockholm worked on Battlefront series, as well as Criterion games, as well as Motive games on Battlefront 2. The game that I want Battlefront 3 to be is much smaller in scope than I think a lot of other people. I want a smaller scale game mode that is set up to be supported as a live service. I want it to be what Battlefront 2 promised to be, which was a continuing live service where you, where you will get weekly updates and uh, monthly content. That's what the whole the whole idea around Seasons was. Uh, do you guys remember the Last Jedi DLC? <laughs> you picked a side and I thought that was fantastic. I thought that was a great way to come together as a community, pick your side and battle it out as that side and earn points for your side. But um, they shifted that. That was the only season where they did that. And I, I think that's kind of a shame. Getting back to my DICE point, DICE is a one game studio, at least DICE Stockholm. There, they've come together um, to work on Battlefield 6, as they should. That's that's their baby. That's where they made their name. That's why they were considered to be developers for Battlefront series. They they do first person, third person shooters very well, as you see with Battlefield and Battlefront. It's so confusing. <laughs> Throughout the development of Battlefront and Battlefield, you could see when one game was getting a lot of updates, the other wasn't. When Battlefront 2 was getting the massive amount of support and continuation, there was a lot of problems that weren't addressed with Battlefield 5. There was an issue internally where they, I, I believe, they lost their focus. As you can see, because they, they canceled Battlefield 5 uh, for the support of that. But, well, first, they canceled Battlefront. They canceled the support for Battlefront 2, and all of the developers were really disappointed about that. They continued, they wanted to continue working on it because they all loved it. So that was definitely a higher-up decision there. And then they canceled Battlefront 5 support, or they, they canceled Battlefield 5 support and announced that they were doubling down on Battlefield 6, as they should. Now, now let me get into the Battlefront game that I want. I mentioned it earlier, I want a smaller scale tactical shooter. Something along the lines of Rainbow Six Siege. A friend of mine, Mark Splitscreen, uh, posted this idea, and this is something that I've, I've been thinking about as well. The strength that Rainbow Six Siege has is they started, a, it's a lot smaller game mode, but they've continued the support for over five years. And that's something that I would love to see. I would love to see a Battlefront 3, or maybe just call it Battlefront. You start with a smaller scale game mode and you continue from there. What would be awesome, as we move forward in the world of gaming, we see more games are going to free to play games as a service. Could you imagine a Battlefront game comes out, it's free to play, it's smaller scale, and it's a continuation. They say, okay, we're launching this game, it's gonna be smaller scale, but we're going to support the game for five years. So, <laughs> could you imagine? That game, you automatically are in the expectation that this is a game that's going to improve with time. You don't have any monetary investment 
they make their money off of not loot crates, cosmetics. Those are the way of the future. If you want to make money on a game afterwards, do not lock content behind paywalls. That is something that was popular for quite some time with DLCs, but the way of the future is changing. Now, there's there, there can definitely be something in the middle. Like, you can have uh, story content that's paid. I think that's fair. And then, I think cosmetics are the way to go. You continue supporting the game, adding heroes, maps, game modes, and then you get paid through cosmetics. Have some really fun cosmetics. Have some fun in Star Wars. It, do, it doesn't have to be so serious. Um, I know this is kind of blasphemy, but I would also really like to see weapon skins. I think that is something that many, many people love in Apex, Call of Duty. Um, so I think that would be fantastic. But it's a smaller scale game mode. I would love to see a smaller scale start supported through DLC up upgrades that are free, uh, seasons, and battle passes maybe. All cosmetic stuff that you can buy. I think that's I think that would be a good win-win for everyone. Also, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty Zombies recently. Star Wars Zombies would be fantastic. Could you imagine? Now hear me out. Ewoks, but they're zombies. Or there's a the, the Galaxy of Fear books which I loved growing up. There was actually zombies in that. There was a there was a Land of the Dead where they they were with Boba Fett and they were fighting through zombies. So, zombies in Star Wars, they are a thing. So, that would be fantastic. I think that'd be super cool, super scary. Um, again, jumping on the bandwagon of new types of uh, experiences in gaming, I would also love to see a Battle Royale Star Wars game. No heroes, completely trooper-based, and I think that would be cool. But, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like. If you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think and would like to see in a Battlefront 3. I would love to hear your thoughts and expectations. Do you want it to be a smaller scale game mode? Or do you want it to be the Battlefront of all Battlefronts? The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate of Star Wars games. Do you want everything to be in there? Which it does have its advantages. Let me know down below and I will see you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. Goodness gracious.